Hey guys, wanted to just um, show off our new scoops a little bit here for Harmony Turbines. I know some of you have been curious about where we're going with the new build. This is about 18 pounds as it is right now, so it's not real heavy, but it's, it's a nice weight. It's gonna add, um, when it's spinning, it'll kind of be like a flywheel effect because when you have 10 of these together, that will be 180 pounds if you imagine. The gearing's gonna be on and the furling tube, um, you're probably looking at about, you know, close to 250 pounds total being on the shaft for this new prototype. So um, a simple thrust bearing or load um, axial thrust bearing should be more than capable of handling that 250 pounds without any problem at all. Um, yeah, so it is now painted, primed and painted, and uh, the thing is beautiful. So we're going to get a little bit of decaling coming from the one sign shop. We're going to probably have a, a round Harmony Turbines decal on it up top, and then maybe one in the back, uh, depending on how we want to show it. You can walk around it if you want. But um, this is it. This is going to be the, the new demonstration scoop. And then if we're happy with the way it's going to be, then we'll go into uh, making 10 of them. <coughs> Excuse me. We're probably going to wrap the edge here. We're going to put a 3 8 90 degree bend on. So that's why, you, that's why you prototype. That's why you test so that you can work out the bugs and the kinks. But there's a very, very slight bow here. You can see it. We're going to probably wrap this edge and put a 3 8 wrap around and then I'll notch out the CAD drawing for our top and bottom so that we have a little tiny 3 8 inch edge there and we're going to put a, a slight V on the back end. That'll give rigidity to both the back edge and the front edge of the scoops and really shouldn't interfere one bit with wind flow or anything. So um, yeah, at any rate, I wanted to do a quick video and just say this is where we're at. This is what we're going to for the new scoop designs. And everyone, including myself, is very anxious to see how this performs. So we haven't taken any money out of the WeFunder campaign yet, but we're going to be getting ready very soon. Uh, as of the time of this filming, we're at like $69,000 in investments. I'd like to get up to probably 100 before I take the first draw from the campaign and then I'm able to use that money to start building the rest of the prototype and getting things together. But uh, it's exciting to see this coming together, to feel it, to touch it, to uh, the rigidity of this is just phenomenal compared to the uh, plastic acrylic scoops that we had before. And it's fully welded on the seams. So, you know, you're gonna be able to withstand incredible amounts of wind with this compared to what we had before with the acrylic scoops. That was just a prototype anyway. This is going to be a permanent outdoor prototype to be out there because Pennsylvania doesn't have good wind. We, you know, we've got mild winds in Pennsylvania and to be a wind turbine development company in Pennsylvania, um, you know, it's, it's not an impossible task, but it certainly makes it more challenging. So the way we're going to get our data is in the thunderstorms, in the bad weather. And to do that, that means I need to have these guys strong enough and sturdy enough to be out there in that bad weather. So by having these out there in the bad weather, we're going to be able to get the severe winds and the strong winds and gather the data with our outdoor prototype. It'll be sending the data in through Raspberry Pi or Arduino or something like that to um, the inside data collection facility where it's nice and safe indoors. But uh, the onboard computers will be controlling the furling state of the of the scoops and my plan is to start looking at you know changing furling state around in various wind conditions to see if we do get a better performance out of having it slightly furled maybe in the 10 or 15 mile an hour winds whatever it's it's going to be really exciting to see that data starting to come in live and start analyzing that data because i think we're going to find efficiencies greater than just simply having it fully opened in the wind everyone's speculating oh it's going to be the best by just having it open 100%. That'll be your most efficient. I don't think so. I think there's going to be some really interesting data in there. It's the same principle when a skater's out there on the ice spinning and they start to pull their arms and their legs in, they go faster and faster and faster. The same type of principle is going to be happening in harmony. And the really cool part, when you start reducing that width, then you're changing the efficiency rating of harmony drastically. So, um, 
it'll be interesting. You know, we're going to go there together. We're going to experiment. We're going to report on the results and we're going to share it publicly. That's how I've always done it. So this is where we're heading. This is a new scoops and our WeFunder campaign is at 69,000 as of the time of filming. So please, if you haven't invested, please consider investing and helping support these efforts because the goal here is to make a product. The first, finally, you know, the first residential turbines that make sense. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to be virtually silent. They're not going to kill any animals or birds or be a danger to anyone. They're not going to make noise and vibration that's going to annoy your neighbors. They'll be beautiful out there just spinning silently in the wind. And even when the winds get strong and gusty and dangerous, Harmony would just furl up to whatever degree necessary and keep right on spinning through that. And that's the whole point. You've got a a curve, a power curve with, with wind turbines right now where it goes up as the wind's rising and then it hits its peak, say 20 miles an hour where residential wind turbines make their maximum power. But as soon as you get above their maximum wind speed, the residential turbines that are on the market right now, and I don't care if you're talking a $60,000 unit or whatever, the residential turbines that are on the market right now, as soon as you're above their maximum wind speed, their efficiency begins dropping off drastically because they have to do a dump load or they have to start using magnetic brake or a mechanical braking mechanism to slow themselves down and protect themselves. So the residential turbines that are on the market right now all have a power curve that looks like that. Harmony should go up just like the other turbines, but because of our furling capability, it should level off and it should continue on. I won't say indefinitely because of course everything has its breaking point, but if we make it out of strong enough materials, it should be survivable well into the extreme wind ranges and you know for places like the philippines where they have typhoons and japan and stuff like that you know if we're getting into typhoons and hurricanes if we make this out of maybe stainless steel and things like that you might be able to spin right on through and continue producing power right on through those hurricanes and typhoons for you know doing essential things like pumping water and um you know highly important humanitarian efforts and things that that it's essential to keep that power flowing or the water being pumped whatever so anyway thank you from harmony turbines thank you for believing in us i wanted to give everyone a quick shot of where we're at and what's going on with our new prototype development take care guys